Hey guys, what's up? How are y'all doing today? So, I wanted to make this video real fast, and as you can see, my hair is all kind of crazy and looking uh, mad and stuff. Um, just tapping into those mad scientist moments. And I've been really adopting this ideology of being a mad scientist lately. And I think we all are mad scientists. But um, when you have a mad scientist moment, you begin having these more when you're able to really, when you start tapping into your subconscious more, and you start realizing the patterns and stuff, and when you superimpose these patterns on other things, you begin to realize a lot of stuff. You begin to really dive deeper and really get to know who you are, your body, your mind, and your spirit. These mass scientist moments are when you are following your mind and then you see something that really like strikes you and then you're like, whoa, what is that? It's kind of like, you know, when a dog sees something, like a, like a squirrel or something like that, or something moves like in the bushes, it's like, like that happens. And a mad scientist moment is when that happens, but when it's with your thoughts and you have to run away with it. So like I'm making this video and it's about literally that. It's about watching your own mind and what does it mean? Now, most people do not know how to watch their mind or a lot of people are conditioned to not watch their mind. Um, we have the conscious and you have the subconscious. They're one, they're two of the same. They're kind of like, you know, two sides of a coin, so to speak. The subconscious rules about 99% of it. The conscious is like a very small percentage, but the subconscious rules like 99% of it. Think of an atom. Think of like that empty space. That is the subconscious. Then you have the nucleus. That is the conscious. So when you think of these things, you will see that the subconscious actually rules your life, but most people do not realize this. Once you are aware that the subconscious rules your mind, then when certain experiences come up that remind you of information that you have already stored, it's kind of like, okay, say you have a kid and he touches a hot stove. He's like, Psst, ow! That's conscious at that point, but then the brain interprets it, codes it as some type of information, and stores it into the subconscious. Perhaps the information is, don't touch hot things, or don't touch the stove. You know, that could happen. And then it gets stored as information. And this builds up over time. Now, mo like what happened also is, is that you have this split, obviously. Then you have the ego, which the ego really has to do with embarrassment. But we can get to that in a later video. But this is pretty much how this forms. And you have the subconscious, and then you have the conscious. Now, this is a duality. And you see duality all throughout you know, this world. You see it in many symbols and stuff. Um, but when you're able to tap into your subconscious and realize the patterns, then you're able to check yourself and be able to see why you're reacting to this. It's almost as if your thoughts are coming out like, and you're looking at it from like a bird eye view, so to speak. Say you're on like, say you're just like flying in the air and you're like hovering over a road and your thoughts are like cars that are going by. as a UPS uh, truck <laughs> drives by. But imagine that, then you're watching your thoughts go by. And imagine like one particular thought, it's like a Ferrari. And you're like, holy crap, what is that? And then you follow that thought. And then you're able to see why you're reacting in that certain way. Because we have many, many thoughts a day. Once you're able to tap into the subconscious, you're actually able to split your mind, so to speak. You're able to separate the duality but really see that they're one and the same. It's a weird kind of way of thinking. Once you're able to do that, once you become aware of your, once you become aware that you're one and two at the same time, which then makes the third, the trinity, so to speak, then you get to this weird space where you have a reaction and you know immediately where it's coming from, the energy, the emotion behind it, and then you ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? And if you're having an adverse reaction, it's, it takes almost a blow out of it because then you're sort of like, okay, I can acknowledge, acknowledge that that affected me in some way. Why? You're, a, you're actually able to like catch yourself. I did this. 
Uh, I recently did this on Thanksgiving. I like the Philadelphia Eagles. It's my favorite team. Still love them, even though they're not playing too great this year. And I actually allowed myself to myself to get upset when they lost on Thanksgiving. And as soon as I saw myself getting upset, I was like, wait, why am I feeling this way? What? Why am I having an emotional reaction to this? It's just weird type of things. Like most people, they let their thoughts just go and go and go and go and go, not checking them, and then they get ruled by their thoughts. And then you have brainwashing, which really you can reprogram your mind. It's called neuroplasticity. You can take control of your own mind, but then when you're like have all these images plastered in front of you and you're looking at that, and then your thoughts, you look at that and it creates your reality. So and that's a whole other subject, actually, about the whole thoughts create your reality. And I'll just go ahead and put this off on a tangent. The whole thoughts create your reality. Thoughts is not the end game. Most people get confused with that. Thought, think of thought as like the, the word. It's the signature. But there's an energy underneath it. It's that higher consciousness that creates the thought, the energy, and then it comes out into the mind. And then there's the physical, you know. So I want you to think of yourself. Seriously. If you could tap into this image, then you pretty much get the point. And I know I rambled a bit. <laughs> like I said, it's a mad scientist moment. It's me trying to convey some random thought that I got today. Just seeing, throwing it out there into the cosmic pool and seeing what happens. But imagine yourself as a ball of light. Imagine you're just this hyper-consciousness. Then you have this layer of shadow around it. It's not really there. It's a perception. It's not really there, but that is the subconscious, and it's big. It's empty. And then from there, you're attracting, to, you're attracting other things, you're attracting other atoms, and it creates this image, so to speak. It creates this conscious. Think of conscious as just like these tiny streams of light, beams of light coming out of the higher consciousness that are protruding through the subconscious. Imagine if you can turn on more beams of light. Then you would ascend. You would gain ascension. Most people, they don't really show their inner light. They don't show the truth, the blueprint of who they are. They have all of this clutter of information. And it's taking up a lot of the RAM. It's taking up a lot of the storage. But once you kind of can see it for what it is and begin to clear it, then that your higher consciousness will begin to shine through your subconscious. And then you will become this giant, radiant ball of energy. You become a sun and more people are attracted to you. And that's the law of attraction right there. So tapping into your thoughts, being able to watch them unfold, being able to split yourself split your mind and once you really can learn this then you get to really start playing with this you get to start doing like one of my practices that I do is that I'll be driving in the car and I will talk to myself and then in my head I envision like viewing myself as if like I'm on a stage but I'm like in the crowd I do this and it's actually, it's actually a weird thing and I'm still able to drive and do this at the same time so once you really tap into the subconscious and start watching your mind and see the split, you actually begin to tap into realms that you would have never believed you could tap into. So that is all for this mass scientist moment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I'm just crazy in the head or, you know, if you resonate with this, that's cool. Like, share, subscribe. I love you all and just enjoy the moment, guys. Peace.